Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how we can use private SSL certificate or custom SSL certificate for your Evil Genix. So, in this case, it can be SEPS and SSL certificate, or it can be SSL certificate that you have purchased somewhere else, or it can be wildcard SSL certificate that you want to use in the Evil Genix. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. I have already created this server and uploaded the source code. Now, Whatever the source code I have uploaded right here, it's not from the default Evil Genix. This source code has been modified by me. Okay. So first let's see the demonstration. Then if you have any question, then you can put into the chat box. So let me do one thing. Let me open the terminal right here. And uh, yes, terminal should be open. And let me do ls. So once I do ls, can you see I see the dot Evil Genix, sorry, Evil Genix 2 folder. So let me cd into the Evil Genix 2 and do ls. And here we can see the Evil Genix binary. Now, here is a trick. In order to able to inject custom SSL certificate into Evil Genix, we need to run Evil Genix into the developer mode. Okay. So how we can run that? We can do dot slash Evil Genix 2 and then we can say DVLOPR, which is developer. And that should enable the developer mode. Now, I have already configured the Evil Genix. So that's why you will see the fishlet is also there it is unable then hostname is also there and if you are watching this video i don't think so you should be needed any additional guide to do so now where exactly we can put our ssl certificate so before putting the ssl certificate we need to use the link then only it will create the folders required or directory required so let me do one thing let me type lows and here is my link so i'll say lows get url id number zero and this is my url right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this url as it is and i'm going to open one browser so in my case i'm using firefox browser let me paste that link right here and hit enter button so once i do that it will load the browser it will load the website everything will be fine but the only problem will be it will be saying connection is not secure that's okay as of now okay now let me just minimize this one and go back to the Evil Genix. So once we enter the link very first time, it will create one folder inside dot Evil Genix uh, directory. So can you see the folder is created called dot cert? That's the folder is created. So once I click on that, you will see there is a one another folder which is firefi dot in. So basically, it will create the folder inside the dot cert folder where with each hostname there will be folder and there will be cert.pm which will be the certificate and key.pm which will be the again uh, private key so basically you have to replace those keys here and it will work fine okay so that's all about the replacing the key now you might be thinking then okay let me test this one how we can generate the self and ssl certificate so that we can use it here so let me do one thing. Let me show you first of all. So if you go to the website right here, you will find I have created one post which is saying generation of sales and certificate. If you click on that, it will give you the commands to generate. It's just three simple commands by which you can generate. But you need to make sure that you have this open SSL installed. So let me just copy this open SSL, go back to the server and stop the Evil Genix first. Okay. Let me stop the Evil Genix and do apt install uh, open ssl in your case if it is installed that's completely okay but in my case it is not installed so that's why i have to install it okay so installation will not take much time it's a quite lightweight binary so it should be ready now okay now the installation has been finished so let me do one thing go to the website and let me create the certificates but what I will do, I will create the certificates. Uh, where should I create? I will create the certificate in exactly same directory. So what I will do, I will just uh, open the current directory in integrated terminal. So that will open the terminal into firefi.in directory. Can you see? Dot set firefi.in. And if I do ls, I will see existing certificates. Okay. So I am just going to remove the existing certificate so i'll say remove everything okay and if i do ls now no the certificates are gone okay certificates are gone and here the certificates are worth showing but if i do refresh 
it will also say that certificates are gone now great now let's create our own ssl certificates so let me go back right here let me copy this particular command go back here paste it one more time uh again go back copy the second command i'm not going to explain the command as of now you can just go ahead and check it by yourself in case you don't know here there is no need to enter any values you can just keep it default keep enter 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 and it will create the cert.key file okay now next thing is we need to create the uh private key file right so uh let me just minimize this one and paste it one more time and it should create the cert file also now the problem is previous SSL certificate had a different name it had a cert dot pem and it had a key dot pem so the format has been changed so let's do one thing let's uh, rename these files and we will say cert dot pem that's the first file and second will be the key dot pem so let me just click here rename and i will say key dot pem okay so we have created the uh, self signed ssl certificate that we supposed to create okay now the sub dot pm is also created and key dot pm is also created now let's go back to the our terminal and start the evilgenix right here okay so yes dot slash evilgenix2 then developer now it is uh, started let me copy this particular link one more time go here and paste that particular link into the new tab so this time it didn't load it directly because the ssl certificate has been changed that's why so let me click on the advance and click on the accept risk and it will load the uh, website so basically by using this method you can use any ssl certificate even wildcard ssl certificate and you can inject in this method and it will just simply use those ssl certificate so yeah that's all about the injecting system ssl certificate into the evilgenix and make sure that you check the modified source code you will find link in the description where you can click and you will find the source code okay so thanks for watching see you in the next if you have any question please feel free to ask here or you can ask on fluxet.com again the link will be in the description for the website where a lot of people have created a lot of questions you can learn from their question or if you have any additional question you can ask the question right thanks for watching see you in the next